Hey RDI, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna to make a couple of car magnets, but in this video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the design, how we got it, or where we got it from. That's one of the questions that we get a lot, and I'm gonna talk about this one in particular. So let's get started. For the logo, they wanted something that represents a cleaning company, either a broom, a bucket, some kind of cleaning supplies. So that was the first requirement. One of the things that we told them about the name, we sent them a, uh, Something that we could fix, which was the name they wrote the name, cleaner, instead of cleaner, cleaning, instead of service, we thought it would sound better, services. They told us to get rid of the apostrophe, and that's what we did. And this is a second way to do an image or a logo. If, like this one, obviously we cannot use it, but uh, that's what we told a customer. We could not use this image. We could do something that's more like a logo looking, type of image and they were open actually they needed something like that so they could make t-shirts or not just magnets but any kind of products let's go back to our computer and let's open a our website here or a web freepig.com and i'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit so you guys can read it by the way we're not being sponsored by this company but we use it or we've been using it for quite some time and this one works best for people that do more like graphic designing, people that use a lot of images, I think uh, I, I might be wrong, but I think it runs about $100 or a little bit over $100 a subscription a year. And you get to use a lot of images that they have. They got lots of vector images. I mean, you can read it here, high quality photos, vectors, videos and mock-ups, all kinds of stuff. So you guys can go and check it out and find out their prices. And this is how you spell it, freepick.com. And now I'm going to go for cleaning logo. If we were looking for construction, we would probably do construction company or construction logo. You get the idea. And you can see here a lot of different images. Most of them are vector, or sometimes you would still have to work a little bit like the one we're going to go for right now we still got to do a little bit of uh, add a little bit of work which is not a big deal and you, if you guys see they have a lot of really cool images that you can use we already know what image we're looking for and here it is so the next step would be to download this file and let's see how many different formats we get I downloaded it to my computer and we get different formats. We get a JPG, we get AI, EPS. I'm going to go ahead and open the uh, AI file and give you an idea. And we're missing, or when you get a window, a little window like this, a little pop-up, it means that you are missing some fonts. Since we do not care for the fonts, we'll, be, we'll go ahead and okay. And since we just need the image, but it's not the only image, but you get uh, several images. And let me show you, like some of them need to be uh, cleaned, up, uh, cleaned up a little bit, but not a big deal. And I know that we are looking for this one here. So I'm going to bring it to the side or I'm just going to make a copy of this and bring it to our other document here. We're back at our main uh, image and then I'm going to bring it over here and show you what I need to fix. Since now that we have our full screen open here, um, let me bring it next to the uh, the image that I already that I fixed. And if you guys can see here, this represents the water on both sides. And on the original image or the image that I used, I actually modified a little bit. I added like a little thin outline here. And let's go back to it and show you what I mean by that this little line here i'm going to show you how i'm going to do that and the reason is that i don't want to i don't want this layer of vinyl to be too exposed like the little lines here i don't want that to be um, if you do not align it correctly you can see a little gap here and you will see it here too and that's the reason i did it like this that way it doesn't look um, out of proportion and i think that's one of the things that we did to make it look better and I'm going to bring it back here and show you. This is the uh, image that I just downloaded, the vector image, and it's still in one, just one image. I need to break it down or break it apart. I'm going to click on the image, go here to arrange, click, uh, left click, and then go to ungroup all. I'm gonna do a left click, 
and what I did, I separated every single layer. And now the next step will be to, since we have two different colors, we need to combine them. What I'm going to do, or I probably I'm going to fix what I just told you that I was going to fix. And I mean, there are different ways how uh, that you can fix this. Um, what I need to do, I'm going to make a copy of this here, the light blue and this one here. So I'm going to click on one, doesn't matter which one. I clicked on this one on the left and then I'm going to hold the shift button and click on top of the second image without letting the shift button go. And I'll show you what, what happens. So they are selected right now and I'm going to make a copy of them. Now I'm going to do a right click on the mouse and do a copy. Okay. And now what I'm going to do now, I need to add that little thin outline that I told you I was going to do. Um, we got the original images here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to make it a little bit taller, this blue line. And the way I'm going to do it, I selected the blue and then go here to shape tool. And let me see, it's highlighted. And now you can edit it. You can just do whatever you want with it, um, like make it taller. And I'm going, to, I'm going to pull it up a little bit like that. I'm just trying to cover this, but I think it's good right there. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one here. I clicked on it and then actually I'm going to go back because I did, I did it too fast. Now I'm going to click the water and then the shape tool, or you can just do a double click on the same image and it does the same thing. Double click, uh, fast click. And now um, I'm going to pull it to a little bit. And if you can see, this one is not uh, where it's supposed to. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click now on this, on the same image, and just do uh, the shape tool. But I'm not, I'm not going to select both uh, both sides of the image, uh, just this side here. And I'm going to move it up here. And then what I got to do, now I'm going to weld these. The water, I'm going to weld it with this image here. And now I'm going to do the same with this one here. I'm going to weld it with the darker blue. Now remember that we have two, we got a copy of the images. I'm going to paste and um, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to readjust it until I'm happy with the size. I can probably make it a little bit thinner like that. And I'm going to do the same thing with this here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I can modify it now. By the way, if you guys are liking this video, make sure you give us a like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet because this helps a lot, okay? We appreciate your support. Thank you. Now, this one, the hand, even though it's uh, dark blue, is not combined with our uh, the bucket. So I need to do what I need to do. I'm going to give it some color first of all so you get an idea. I need to send the little uh, glove in front of the water and the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to click on the green glove and then do a, a right click on the mouse order and then to front of page. Now what I got to do, I need to cut through the vinyl. Let me get close and see what I need to do or what's going to happen actually. I'm going to click on the green and then shift button and click on the water. And let's go to wireframe before we actually simplify the image. And now I'm going to simplify it. And see, this is what happened. This is what our uh, simplify function did to our light blue. Now I can combine the glove with the, uh, the bucket. I can weld them and see. Now when we layer the vinyl, or I can either uh, probably get rid of the little lines here, the white lines here. Um, okay, that's much better. Okay. And these are ready. So the next step to do, I'm going to combine all the light blues. I'm going to select the star and then shift button, click on the, uh, the bubbles and do the same thing. Shift button, click on this one, the other star, the waters, the water and the little bubble here. And I'm gonna give it another color just to make sure that we did it right. And yes, they are combined. And we need to do the same thing to the other blue. See, these are like all the rectangles are separated from the other images. 
and I gotta do the same thing. I want to shift button, click, click on that, weld, and see. We still gotta combine the bucket with this here. Yep. Right now, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna worry too much about the colors. Basically, I mean, we're almost done. Honestly, guys, all we gotta do just give it, um, do some contour to our uh, the letters. First of all, I'm gonna center the letters. I think I'm going to do a make a copy, or just a copy of the services part. And now I'm going to weld these in uh, the two or the letters. I'm gonna weld them, and then I'm going to click on this here on the letters. And then going to go here to the blend tool and do a left click. And if you guys can see the icon, it says contour. And then right now it's taking a little bit longer to show the like the contour usually shows up right away. But right now it's giving me just a few seconds of a preview. And I think right now it's too thick. But I'm going to just to give you an idea. Might not be the right thickness, but I'm gonna let it go. And then now we got our contour right now it's still one image what i need to do i need to separate or uh yeah break apart our contour from our font and this is the way you do it i'm gonna go to break apart here the little icon here and see we got them all separate now what i'm gonna do i'm going to select a different blue and this one's gonna be a darker blue and it's about the same as the uh, the one that I used here. Yeah, very close. So, and now the reason I save the services part is because it's exactly what I used to do the clean, we clean empty houses. Uh, and now I'm gonna go to this, what we did to give you an idea of how we do the, um, the registration marks. I'm gonna get rid of them or before I do get rid of them I'm gonna show you why we use registration marks so we have our two different colors the dark blue and now we got what we have to do we have to layer the vinyls and to know exactly where to place them we need our uh, registration marks my computer is acting up right now maybe because I have so many uh, windows open and that's uh, the reason we use the registration marks if you add them correctly as long as you align them, then the second layer will be uh, placed exactly where it has to be placed. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of these because I want to show you exactly how we do it, how we add the registration marks and what registration marks are. Um, I'm also going to talk about that. So right now we know that our layer, second layer of vinyl is exactly on top of the dark. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the little rules, rulers here that we can use. We can pull them down. And I'm going to try to do exactly where the highest part of our design is. And I'm going to go to the um, rectangle tool. And basically, a uh, registration mark is just a rectangle that, that you add with the rectangle tool. And as long as you place them where exactly where they are supposed to be the layering of vinyl will be a lot easier and i'm going to align this I, i'm going to try to keep it inside like the hole where uh, the layers of vinyl are so i do not waste additionally unless uh, it doesn't fit then i would have to probably do a little bit to the left or to the top and then i will be outside of the design and I'm gonna be using a little bit more material which is not a big deal but if you can save that little extra it'll be fine now I'm going to make a copy of exactly the same uh, registration mark and I'm going to select that the one that we already uh, applied and then do uh, drag the mouse clicking on the right side and you will get a preview of another a second alignment or uh, registration mark and then just let it go and you will get this option copy here and now you have it exactly next i mean opposite to this other registration mark and uh, let me see if we were able to put it we can still move it a little bit all right so the next step will be to make a copy of these two registration marks since we have two different layers of vinyl we need to make a copy 
but I'm going to select the two of them, uh, two of them, and I'm going to give them the same light blue. And um, now that I have both selected, I need to do a, a right click and then do a copy. I haven't let go yet. And now I'm going to do the shift button and select the light blue. And I'm going to change it a different color just to make sure that we are doing it correctly. We haven't weld them yet. Um, I need to weld them now and let it go and see if we did it right. Yes, we did. Remember that we made a copy of the registration marks before we do we did the welding. Now we do uh, paste and then without letting it go, make sure you click on top. Uh, I mean shift button and click the dark blue. And let's see if we are doing it correctly. Yes, we are. So let me show you. Yep. The next step will be to do weld. And I think we got them right. Yes, we do. And now what registration marks are basically the same thing as registration marks is a rectangle. I'm going to get rid of these so I can explain to you better. I'm going to make a copy of our magnet that we already we think that is good. I'm going to move the two different layers of vinyl and here I'm going to add a rectangle just to give you an idea. I'm not going to do it like I'm not going to bother too much about the size but just to give you an idea you can use the software that comes with the vinyl cutter to do the uh, weeding boxes but I like doing uh, with the software a lot better because I can tell the weeding box where to go and uh, basically it's a huge rectangle and you just do lines across from where you want to cut the vinyl from or where you want to weed out from and here if I was doing this by myself if it were a, a bigger design what I could do I could probably start from here do a line across from here and then go here and then do another line here probably from here to here just to give you an idea I mean probably I'm doing it uh, I'm making it harder by adding too many within boxes but this is the idea if you use the software Corel draw you tell where to go you tell the uh, the lines where to go and this is how we use the alignments I mean registration marks as long as well as the uh, within boxes all right, guys, so we're going to start with the first section, the light, uh, the darker blue. And while we wait for the vinyl cutter, let's go up here and I'm going to show you all the materials or the main materials that we'll be using today. The vinyl will be the Oracle 651 and it's going to be a very basic design. Two colors, dark blue and light blue. The transfer we'll be using is the Art Tape Clear Choice AT75 and it's considered a uh, high tech and don't forget that you will also need i mean if you are planning on making or selling uh, car magnets make sure you get cutting mats and let me get in the way here you will also need a safety ruler to cut the magnet with and this is the type of magnet that we are going to use the magnum magnetics we need to cut them to uh, they're going to be 24 by 14. i don't know if you guys see the difference we're using the desks since it's completely flat and makes a huge difference. Before we used to use a white table. It was uh, like two different sections and it was harder to cut it straight. Uh, the kind of magnet that we are using, this is the uh, information and it's the, uh, not the gloss, but today we're using the matte finish. Matte finish. Yes, matte finish. Okay, I'm gonna start waiting out the first section, the darker blue. We're still waiting on the lighter blue, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. I'm going to start weeding out. I'm going to do it by myself. I added several weeding boxes to make it easier for me. And I know I'm going to start from here. And one thing I want to show you once I get to it, I added um, a contour or made it a little thicker because the letters, this section is right, the one that's about to show here. This one down here, the letters were so thin and I made them a little thicker. And I recommend that you guys do that. Someone left a comment 
on one of our videos in Spanish, they have a cameo cutter and this lady was telling us that she was having a really hard time working with a front logo for the t-shirt and sometimes or we always recommend that you guys tell your customer if you have a, a design kind of like the one we have today where it has uh, small letters that uh, you may modify the logo a little bit uh, either you'll make it using a different font or you just add some thickness to it like i did sometimes it doesn't really make that much of a difference but I guess you just got to be honest with your customer and at the same time you want to make it easier for you too. You don't want to spend all day on just one design or one logo. If you guys see this next section, the, the way I did it or the reason I did it like this is because I, uh, like I first started with this section, then I went to this one and now I'm, I'm doing my other section instead of doing all one piece. It makes it a lot easier when you do it by sections. We recommend that you guys do that too when working on your um, design before you send it to the cutter just to make it possible for you to weed out so you don't have to struggle more than you should. We just got done weeding out our vinyl, even the lighter blue. Now the next step will be to apply our transfer tape we're gonna use the R tape clear choice AT75.1 and it's the high tag. If you guys do not have any hands, there's a nice tool that you should get, the application tape rollers, which makes it a lot easier when you are working by yourself. And here's a video of how you can use that. Remember, the more you use it, the easier it gets. Also, if you have a cameo cutter, you can use it to cut your vinyl, makes it a lot easier to align it. We just finished applying our transfer on top of our vinyls and we have each color separately. Now it's time to apply them to our magnets. And I'm gonna use the cutting knife. Remember, the reason you wanna use it, it doesn't leave any residue and it's a lot safer when you are working directly on cars. It helps you, or you just wanna stay away from the surface. You don't wanna damage it or scratch it. And that's the reason you need to get your cutting knife because it prevents you from scratching the surface. And I'm gonna just cut it like this. Let's put it on the side. And I'm gonna start with this side. It's moving a little bit. I'm just being careful. I'm doing a dry application, so I gotta be especially careful with when I, uh, I'm doing a dry application. And the reason I'm, I might be a little bit uncomfortable because of the angle, but because we are recording too. So I just got to keep that in mind. If we weren't recording, then it will be a lot easier. I wouldn't have to worry about the angle or not get in the way of the camera, but it's worth it. I mean, you guys are worth it. And that's why we are doing it like this. I know we're making it a little bit harder for us. By the way, if you guys are liking this video, we would really appreciate it if you gave us a like and if you subscribe to our channel, okay? There are different ways how you can support us besides watching our videos and giving us likes. You can also, um, we have memberships to uh, VIP members or videos, uh, mainly behind the scenes and other things that we are, uh, will be uploading pretty soon. So thank you so much for your support. I gotta make sure that I apply enough pressure because if I don't do that, then I'm gonna end up with a whole bunch of bubbles. These are our registration marks and the reason we use them is to combine different layers or apply different layers of vinyl. In case you're not familiar with that, make sure you check out our channel. We have a lot of videos uh, talking about registration marks. Now the next step will be to get rid of our uh, transfer paper or transfer tape because it's not made out of paper. This one is, uh, I guess it's made out of plastic. And the reason we do not use any different transfer is because this has been the best transfer that we found so far. 
we've used like four different kinds and so far this has been the best one yet it is a high tech but as you can see i have small letters and it's not peeling them off okay for the next layer i could easily do a dry application but because i just want to show you how you can use the rapid tag to layer different vinyls if you didn't have any registration marks and you just wanted to align the vinyl using rapid tag you can also do that too it, it might be a little bit harder to do that but it's not impossible some people ask about rapid tag if it wouldn't damage the adhesive from the vinyl and it does not um, affect it the only thing that it does it prevents it from sticking too fast and you got a few minutes to like just for example like this i let it down but i can still pick it up see and this is the reason we use it in case you misplace it uh, you got a few minutes or a few seconds to fix it perfect okay perfect okay now i can start squeezing out all the rapid tag we waited a few minutes now it's time or we're gonna give it a try and see if we can remove it safely if not then you just have to wait a few seconds and remember just take your time okay don't pull it too hard so far it's coming out really good I guess I'll just do it slower once I get to thin lines here I have really thin pieces of vinyl I'm gonna start from this side perfect now the next step we can get rid of the registration marks <laughs> yeah the registration marks and there's no need to scratch the surface just lift one side the first came off but I gotta get rid of this one too and I wasn't even touching the surface there isn't a single scratch see and I gotta do the same on this side and we recommend that you guys remove them as soon as you get done with the magnet because the longer it stays on it the harder it's gonna be to get it to take it off if this is the first time you are watching this kind of videos and you are thinking of investing money in a vinyl cutter make sure to check out our channel because we got lots of videos where you get an idea of what kind of products you can make with a vinyl cutter all right see you guys until the next video and thanks again for all your support see ya see ya